Hey guys, oh, here we go. We're gonna change the scenery a little bit. I was getting tired of the other uh, view there. But, all right, so in this video, I wanna talk about this clutch, all right? And I don't know, maybe your ideas. Basically, I wanna see if I can start selling these. Um, so, first I wanna talk about the actual build of this clutch, and then some of your input. Uh, is required. So this bag, this clutch bag is 12 inches wide by eight inches tall. The back has a pocket with a zipper on it. And this is a number 10 YKK zipper. It's a really stout, one of the bigger zippers they have. I like it to be really thick like that. I'll give you a close up here in a second. Um, comes with these D-rings. These are these are antique, my wife wanted them antique. This is my wife's bag that I made for her. And attached to this would be a chain. I don't have one right now. She doesn't want it without the chain, but I'll show you a picture overlay of what it looks like with that brass chain. Um, and the main compartment is secured with this, it's called a locks fastener. And the inside is just open. I made it in such a way that you can actually stuff this pretty good. It'll be, stuff pretty good and this will still lock because I offset it a little bit to give room for um, the expansion. So I'll give you a couple close-ups and uh, we'll talk about where I get all this hardware. Um, the locks, I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these lock systems. Let me show you why I like the locks system. All right, so essentially what you have is a little ball and a locking me mechanism. And I really like these. And you just lock it like that. To undo it, you just lift up the tab. It'll release that kind of knuckle that's in there. These are two pieces. These are two pieces. And you just unscrew it like this. So this is the, the female side. And you literally just unscrew it and it screws on itself. Almost like a Chicago screw. And it has these teeth on there. Oh, jeez has these teeth, I don't know if you can see the teeth, that bite into the leather. So all you really have to do for, for this system is punch a hole, I think it's a 3 8 hole, to slip this on and screw them together. And the bottom is the same, the male end, and you see it just screws on itself. So you just gotta make that opening uh, to fit these through there. So I'll put a link in the description where you can get these that have like three different colors and three different designs. But I like these because, like I said, it's just really easy, it's really secure, um, and it's really easy and I'm too lazy to sew in a magnet. I'm not a big fan of magnets because you have to stitch another piece of leather to cover the back part and the prongs, I'm not a big fan. Anyway, so, this is where I need your input. Oh, the brass chain, a uh, buckle guy. I'll put a link in the description for that, for that brass chain. They have different thicknesses. This is a really thin one. But, all right, so I wanna start selling these. I kinda need a price. This is what I'm thinking. I always shoot for about 30 to 40 bucks an hour in my garage, maybe less sometimes, depending. And for me to make this, to make that much money per hour, I would need to sell this for like 190. That includes free shipping, uh, everything. So 190 and you get this clutch. Now, the reason why is that expensive is because this, this stitch, right, I mean, the zipper is not super cheap. The, the brass chain is not super cheap. And this is like a $6 buckle. So all the hardware by itself is, 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 is closer to 30 or 40 bucks. But the other thing too is the time it takes to stitch this zipper in there. That takes quite a bit of time, um, just because of the nature of zippers. Uh, so I could sell it for a little cheaper if I did not use a zipper. And I just made this just an open panel in the back with a little scallop. I'll put a little picture here, what I'm talking about, to make this back piece um, just one panel with a little scallop in the middle um, so you can easily get in and out. But this makes it kind of secure. I do love the zipper, but that adds another hour, hour and a half to the job plus material. So 
I don't know, what's your thoughts on something like this? And of course, this leather is Metropolitan leather. Comes in really awesome colors. I'll, sh I'll share a link to where you can get that, uh, that color leather. And this, this leather is actually pretty expensive because I have to get it overseas. So typically, the English bridle that I get here from Wicked and Craig would be a little bit cheaper. But because I bought, I use this leather and these crazy beautiful colors, it really jacked up the price because you're looking at 15 to $20 a square foot just for this leather. Even if I were to use Rocky Mountain leather, which they have the Butero, the Concierge Walpier Butero, they, uh, it's still about 15 to $20 a square foot. And that's comparable to this kind of leather a little bit. So they have really nice colors as well. So either way, if I want these crazy beautiful natural colors, um, you know, you're spending like $20 a square foot just for the leather and Wicked and Craig, I'm looking at around 10 to $12 a square foot. So it's almost double the price of the leather. And Wicked and Craig English Bridal, to me, breaks in probably a little bit nicer than this, from my experience. Especially, the, this is all made out of five ounce. The five ounce, for whatever reason, just gets super supple and super soft, but it's just beautiful, the way it patinas. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Wicked and Craig English Bridal only comes in natural colors, black, tan, chestnut, dark brown, medium brown, black, and that's about it. They do have this new Latigo, which is really, really nice, and they have some cool colors like navy, buck, which is a really light tan. Um, they have olive, which I showed you before. I made my radio strap and suspenders out of that olive color, uh, but that's about the extent of the crazy colors. So crazy beautiful loud colors like this i'd have to spend a little more money anyway long story short sorry i'm rambling a little bit long story short what do you think would be a good price can i sell these um with the zipper without the zipper give me a price range what you think you'd pay for something like this uh also um eventually once i kind of get a, a pretty good idea um, this is how i would build it of course i could change the front i could make this a little more round instead of like an envelope so I had to figure that out, envelope around, I'm not sure. Um, but, or I could make these to order, kinda, you know? And uh, yeah, but once I figure that out, I would like to make one to give away. So that's another thing, is once I kinda figure this out, I would make one and make and do a giveaway. But yeah, I appreciate your, your uh, input on that. And thank you for the last video, your input on the giveaway for the glove strap. If you haven't seen that video, a, there'll be a link up here for that. Um, and I appreciate you guys listening to my music. Really, really appreciate that. And yeah, this is another excuse to make a video, but really thinking about selling something like this and I would love your input on pricing something like this. Alrighty. Uh, alrighty, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day, God bless you. Talk to you later, that's all I got for you. Nothing crazy today. Man, we haven't invented the gospel. We've had nothing to do with it.